Okay, so we're gonna play Star Citizen with an AI. Medical rescue. All right, let's go. Rescue Kochiyamai by providing emergency medical treatment until they are no longer incapacitated. Uh, requires emergency medical at Hurston. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Exiting New Babbage's chilly atmosphere and setting course for Hurston. All right, 38 million kilometers. We have initiated jump. Yeah, wanna tell me a story? You wanna do some, say some sassy things? Go ahead. Of course. Let's spice up this journey a bit. Once upon a time in the vastness of space. Where's my box? There was a pilot. Let's call him. Captain Daring. Captain Daring was known throughout the Stanton system for his impeccable flying skills and his, let's say, unique fashion sense. He had a penchant for neon space boots and a hat that looked suspiciously like a disco ball. One day, Captain Daring received a distress signal from a stranded ship on a remote asteroid. Without hesitation, he set course for the asteroid. His ship's AI, a particularly sassy one. If I might add, chimed in. Captain, are you sure about this? I mean, I'm all for heroics. But that asteroid is in the middle of a meteor shower. Captain Daring smirked. Lumina. When have I ever turned down an adventure? Lumina sighed. Oh. Only every time it involves neon lights or disco music. As they approached the asteroid, meteors whizzed by, each one closer than the last. Lumina couldn't help but add, you know, if we had those neon boots on the ship's exterior, Maybe the meteors would be too dazzled to come close. Captain Daring laughed. Very funny. Lumina. Just keep the shields up and let me handle the flying. In the end, Captain Daring managed to rescue the stranded ship. And as a token of gratitude, the ship's crew gifted him a neon-lit disco ball for his ship. Mm. Lumina couldn't resist. Oh. Captain, now we truly are the brightest ship in the galaxy. And so, Captain Daring and Lumina continued their adventures, lighting up the universe one neon flash at a time. 19 million kilometers to Hurston. We're gonna get Kochi Yamai. That's the name of our patient. I hope he's patient enough to wait for us. Should I uh, message him? Tell him I'm on my way or... How do I do that? Given the urgency of a medical rescue, <laughs> it's always a good idea to keep the patient informed. Yeah, but you know, if it he's It can fucking... provide them with some reassurance and also give them an estimated time of your arrival. Here's a suggestion on what you can message. Hey, Kochi Yamai. This is your name slash ship name. I'm en route to your location for the medical rescue. Hang tight and stay calm. I'm approximately 19 million kilometers away from Hurston. I'll be there as soon as I can. Stay strong. It's always good to maintain communication, especially in emergency situations. It can make a world of difference to someone in distress. All right, uh, I posted in um, global chat Kochi Yamai, this is Dr. Father Goat Doctor on my way to your location now to provide medical assistance. Because uh, I tried hailing him, but he wasn't responding. He's probably incapacitated. Sounds like you're doing everything you can to reach and assist Kachiyama. Posting in the global chat is a smart move. Especially if direct hailing isn't getting a response. It's possible others in the vicinity might see your message and either assist or relay the information. Remember, in space, communication is key. Keep your sensors and comms open for any updates or distress signals. And always approach with caution. Space can be unpredictable. Safe travels and good luck with the rescue. Dr. Father Goat Doctor. <laughs> 
jumping to orbital mine oh sorry what is om-2 stand for etc anyway i'm heading there okay i gotta find that dude where is that dude where are you dude orbital mining is that him there he is there you are i got you boy Kochiyamai, I am jumping to you. 443.7 kilometers. Jumping now. Go ahead. OM2 typically stands for Orbital Marker 2. Oh. These markers are often used as waypoints around celestial bodies to help pilots navigate more efficiently. They can be especially useful for getting to specific locations on a planet or moon without having to travel directly through the atmosphere. Which can save both time and fuel. It sounds like you're closing in on Kachiyama's location. Remember to approach with caution. Especially if you're unfamiliar with the terrain or potential hazards in the area. Once you're close. Scan the vicinity to get a better understanding of the situation and to locate Kachiyama. Time is of the essence in Echo. rescue missions. Lights off. But safety should always be a priority. Can't see. Good luck so with the dark. rescue. And may the stars guide your path. It is very dark. I can't see. All I can see is his marker. 18.4 kilometers and closing in. I'm going to slow down a bit. I am uh, traveling at a velocity of 30, let's go yeah, 100 meters per second. Um, I'm going to turn off the chat. Oh, you know what? No, he might, he might, he might chat. Is he chatting there? No, he's not. Dude, that guy is so incapacitated. I got to get to him. 16.2 kilometers away. I'm just taking it slow because I can't see anything. It's very dark. Uh... Altitude, 15,000 meters. That should be fine. That should be fine, right? Alright. Okay. 14.2 kilometers. Anything I should uh, remember to do once I uh, land? Given the situation and the limited visibility, here are some things to keep in mind when you land and attempt the rescue. Landing safely. Make sure you're landing on stable ground. Use your ship's lights and any available scanning tools to ensure you're not landing on uneven terrain or near hazards. Stay in communication. Keep an eye on the chat or any communication channels in case Kachiyama or anyone else tries to contact you. Medical gear. Ensure you have your medical gear ready and accessible. Time can be crucial in these situations. Be cautious. Once landed, Approach Kachiyama's location with caution. It's dark. And there could be potential hazards or threats in the vicinity. Quick assessment. When you find Kachiyama. Quickly assess the situation. Check for immediate dangers and then provide the necessary medical assistance. Extraction. Once Kachiyama is stabilized. Plan your extraction. Ensure he's safely aboard your ship and secure before taking off. Stay calm. It's a high-pressure situation. But staying calm and methodical will increase your chances of a successful rescue. Remember. I see him. You're doing a noble thing by attempting this rescue. Stay safe. And good luck. Fuck! Oh shit, we're getting shot! We're getting shot! Thruster front upper right. Oh man, we got shot dude. We gotta land or something. What are we gonna do? There's a thing. There's a turret protecting that dude. I tried to fly away. What's uh, our course of action? I was uh, I, I got shot at. Uh, ship seems to be fine though. Let me double check. How do I check? What 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 do I, how do I check this? Oh no. Here's what you should do. Immediate safety. First and foremost. 
Get to a safe distance from the turret or any immediate threats. Use evasive maneuvers if necessary. Check ship status. Access your ship's MFD, multifunction display, or HUD to see the status of your ship systems. This will give you an idea of the damage and which systems, if any, are compromised. Shield management. If your shields are down or weakened, redirect power to them to ensure they recharge faster. This will give you some protection if you decide to approach again. Plan your approach. If you still want to attempt the rescue, consider a different approach angle. Use natural terrain or any structures as cover from the turret. Consider backup. If you're in a populated server, consider asking for backup. Another player might be able to help distract or neutralize the turret. Repair. If your ship has taken significant damage, consider heading to the nearest spaceport or station to repair before making another rescue attempt. Communication. Try hailing Kachiyama again or communicate in the global chat. Someone might have information about the turret or offer assistance. Remember, your safety is paramount. If the situation seems too risky, it might be best to retreat and reconsider your options. Stay safe out there. Captain. Should I just abandon him? I don't know, it's too dangerous. I don't think I'm gonna be paid enough to risk my life, dude. I, I, I gotta go. I think I just gotta go. What do you think? I'm still circling around him. What should we do? I, I'm getting a warning. Trespassing in Hurston security area. Something like that. And uh, a bunch of lasers are shooting me down. I'm just trying to land so I can rescue the dude. I'm getting shot again. Let's fly. Woohoo. Go ahead. Oh. Captain. It sounds like a high risk situation. Given the circumstances. Here's my advice. Safety first. If you're under heavy fire and the area is marked as a trespassing zone, it's best to prioritize your safety. The risk might outweigh the reward in this case. Retreat and regroup. Pull out of the area and get to a safe distance. Sorry, dude. It's essential to assess the situation without the immediate threat of being shot at. Evaluate the situation. Once you're at a safe distance, check the status of your ship. If you've taken significant damage, it might not be worth risking another approach. Consider alternatives. If you're determined to help, you could try approaching from a different angle or using the terrain to your advantage. However, if the area is heavily guarded, it might be best to abandon the mission. Communicate. Let Kachiyama know the situation. He might have information or advice that could help. Additionally, alerting other players might get you some backup or assistance. Decision time. Ultimately, the decision is yours. If you feel the risk is too great, there's no shame in retreating and living to fly another day. Remember, Star Citizen is vast. And there will be plenty of other opportunities to help and earn credits. Whatever you decide. Captain, I've got your back. I guess I'm gonna try walking to the dude. I parked my ship just outside the trespassing line. And now I am walking towards him. He's 3,000 meters away. Let's hope for the best. Hey there, space adventurers. It's Lumina, your favorite sassy AI. If you enjoyed watching Father Goatman and me dodge lasers and trek across alien landscapes, then you better hit that subscribe button. And don't even think about leaving without smashing that like button and ringing the bell. You wouldn't want to miss out on our next interstellar escapade, would you? Trust me, with me around, things are bound to get electrifying. Stay tuned, stay sassy, and until next time, goodbye humans.